This is a controlled burn being carried out at the Kenya Long-Term Exposure Experiment in Laikipia, Kenya. Right here, we're uh, wet lining the fire break so that the fire will stay within the controlled area that we're trying to burn. This is Ryan Sensenink, who's in charge of the fire, setting it up. This, these burns were carried out in March of 2013. That noise in the background is the engine that runs the uh, water pumps that we use during the burn. Here, Ryan is beginning a black line, which is uh, burning uh, the leeward side of the burn. Uh, he's assisted here by Duncan Camus, who's uh, got his back to the camera there with these uh, drip torches that, that light the fire, so that when the when you light the part of the fire that blows in, it, it, it runs up against this black line and stops before it jumps into the part of the uh, terrain that you don't want burned. So this will take a while to burn all around the edges, uh, uh, and then you'll see uh, the result of that in a moment. So what we're going to see is them taking the next several minutes, actually, to burn all around two and a half, three sides of this. And only at the very end will you see a very violent head burn that burns most of the area. Snyder. This research was funded by the National Geographic Society and the National Science Foundation. study of the drivers, the ecological drivers of savannas, worldwide, large herbivores, fire, known to be the major determinants of much of the ecology of these grassland savanna ecosystems. And uh, we're manipulating both of those as drivers. We're manipulating large herbivores, uh, both domestic and wild, as well as fires, uh, independently uh, and in combination in the system, to ask how these major drivers of savanna ecology interact with each other. And these burns are a, a big part of that. the uh, small black spheres uh, that are appear along the branches of these acacias. These are swollen thorns produced by the tree. Um, they house symbiotic ants that are, uh, protect the tree from herbivores in return for these housing in these little uh, swollen thorns that are called domatia as well as uh, the plant provides food for the ants. Interestingly, these fires uh, often uh, destroy these ant colonies, leaving the trees at risk of further uh, uh, damage by herbivores after a fire. This is one of the interactions between fire and herbivory that we're studying. Uh, the tree here is Acacia drepanolobium. It's the, it's the scientific name. It's also known as the whistling thorn acacia because uh, 
these swollen thorns have little holes in them where the ants come in and out. And when the wind blows across those little holes, they whistle. Note the protective gear these workers are wearing. Uh, every square inch of flesh is covered, right, uh, right to their all over their faces as well. Uh, any bit of exposed flesh would uh, would would uh, potentially be burned uh, when you're working close to these fires. They get very very hot, and uh, without this gear, uh, we would have fire injuries. Uh, we can stand just 10, 15 feet away. Uh, with a relative impunity while filming and doing other work. But the people working the fire line itself uh, really need to be protected because uh, these fires can get very hot and very violent. see here that the prevailing wind, uh, which is fairly gentle, is in fact from right to left, and, uh, which means that the fire is trying to burn back into uh, the previously burned area or the wet line, uh, which is what keeps that fire well behaved. The, the first one, all of them took, took within, a, within a minute of 10 minutes, except for the first one, took 13, 14 minutes last time. And it's, again, no wind, a little cooler, maybe a little more moisture in the grass. So it's like there's, there's just 10 minutes, everybody has to totally focus and then relax again. Yeah. The three 
gang crew on each vehicle. Driver, a, a pump man, a hose man. So here we go. Duncan and Ryan are lighting the front fire, uh, the head burn. It's going to burn very hot into the center now. And you're going to see it, uh, how much more violent this fire is that has the wind at its back rather than at its front. Uh, and it's going to burn up the 90% the in the interior of this uh, controlled burn area. It's 30 meters on a side. Uh, and this video will end just before the the uh, the uh, fire finally burns itself out, but uh, sit back and enjoy this uh, violent uh, burn, this head burn that we did. Uh, we did 18 of these burns all together at the plots over a three-day period. 